Deer call, you guys are here for surmise and nothing is but what is not. If chance will have me king, why chance may crown me without my stir. Worthy Macbeth, we stay upon your leisure. Let us towards the king. Think upon what have chance and let us speak our hearts free to each other. Very glad. Execution done on coro. My lead, they are not yet come back, but I have spoken one that saw him die, who did report that very frankly he confessed his treason. There's no art to find in my construction in the face. He's a gentleman on whom I built an absolute trust. Oh, were these cousins? What was I doing? The more I can play. The service and loyalty I owe in doing it pays itself. Welcome hither, noble banquet. 
that has no less deserve. That means all day and hold thee to my heart. There if I grow, the harvest is your own. Sons, kinsmen, things. No we steps I stay upon our elders. Malcolm, who we name her after the Prince of Cumberland. 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 That is a step on which I must fall down, or else a leap, or in my way it lies. Stars, hide your fires, let not light see my black and deep desires. Who are the banquet? He is full so valiant. He is the peerless king, he is the banquet to you, that's after him. They met me in the day of success, and I have learned <laughs> to have more in them than mortal knowledge. When I questioned them further, they vanished. Whilst I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came missives from the king, who all hailed me then of Cawdorn. This I have thought to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness. Lay it to thy heart, and farewell. Glams thou art, and Cawdor, and shalt be king. Yet do I fear thy nature is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way that wouldst be great. Art not without ambition, but without the illness should attend it. <laughs> What is your tidings? Our thane is coming. Give him ten and bring his great news. The raven himself is hoarse, that croaks the fatal entrance of Duncan under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, and sex me here, and fill me from the crown to the toe top full of direst cruelty. Come, thick night, and pall thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen knife see not the wound it makes. Great gloms. Worthy corridor, greater than both by the all here thereafter. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow, as he purposes. Oh, never shall sun that morrow see. Though welcome in your eye, his hand be held. Look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. Leave all the rest to me. This castle hath a pleasant seat. The air nimbly, sweetly recommends itself unto a gentle senses. The air is delicate. See, see, our honor hostess. All our service. Where's the damn corridor? Within my leash. Very noble hostess, we are your guests tonight. Your servants ever. If it were done, when tis done, then to well it were done quickly. The assassination can trammel up the consequence and catch with his surcease success that but this blow might be the be all and end all here. But here, upon this bank and shoulder time, we jump the life to come. But in these cases, we still have judgment here. That we but teach the bloody instructions which being taught return to plague the inventor. He's here in double trust. First, as I am his kinsman, then as his subject strong both against the beast. Then, as his host, who should against his murder shut the door and not bear the knife myself. Besides, this Duncan hath borne his faculties so meek, hath been so clear in his great office, that his virgins will plead like angels, trumpet tongue against the deep damnation of his taking off. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition, which all leaps itself and falls on the other. How now? What news? He is almost subbed. Why have you left the chamber? Hath he asked for me? No, you not. He has. We will proceed no further in this business. Art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Prithee, peace. I dare do all that becomes a man, who dare do more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? If we should fail... We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, what cannot you and I perform against the unguarded Duncan? Bring forth men, children only, for thy undaunted metal shall compose nothing but males. Away! And mock the time with fairer shells! False face must hide with false hearts, but no. Father! How's up the night, boy? The moon is down, I have not heard the clock. A heavy summons lies like lead upon me, and yet I will not sleep. Give me my sword. Who's here? Friend. What, sir? Not yet a rest. The king's a bed. I dreamt last night of three were sisters. To you, they've shown some truth. I think not of them. Yet, when we get in treat an hour to serve, we were spending some words upon that business. Very glad. Good repose the while. Thanks, sir. The like to you. Give you the bed. Is this a dagger I see before me? The handle towards my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not yet, I see thee still. Thou marshalest me the way I was going, the such an instrument I was to use. But on thy blade and dungeon gouts of blood, which was not so before. 
there is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to mine eyes. But now, the bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it's a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. made them drunk hath made me bold. He is about it. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I, I had done it. My husband. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. As I descended? I. This is a sorry sight. Foolish thought to say a sorry sight. One cry, God bless us, and amen the other. Listening to fears, I could not say amen when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce amen? These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. I thought murder is a fantastic word. Smother the mind, not to use the words not. Who was it that thus cried? Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I will not. Look on it again, I dare not. Give me the daggers. If he do bleed, I'll gild the face of the groom's thaw, for it may seem their guilt. Will all the great Neptune's oceans wash his blood clean from my hands? No, this my hand will rather. The multitudious seas and carnardine making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear hearts so white. I hear a knocking at the south entry. Retire we to our chamber. A little water fuses up this heat. Wake Duncan with thy knocking. I wouldst thou couldst. Here's a knocking indeed. If a man was porter of Hellgate, he should have all turned the key. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there in the name of Bells and Bells? <coughs> Here's a farmer that hanged himself on the expectation of plenty. Come in. Here, you'll sweat for it. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there in all the devil's name? Think. Here's an equivocator that can equivocate on both scales against either scale. Yet, cannot equivocate to heaven. Come in. Knock, knock, knock. Who's there? Thank you. 